Hey guys, Dark Cycle on FPV, and today I'm actually going to do some videos on some RMAs that we have. Um, I've decided to do something a little different here, and the, and the whole purpose behind this is because I'm going to try to cover my own ass on this one. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to see more and more people, you know, claim things aren't working, and it's just simply they don't know what they're doing. Uh, and and that's not, I cannot say that's the case of what I'm going to be looking at today. What I'm saying is the reason I'm putting these videos out now is because I do want to hold the customers responsible if they are trying to get away with something. Um, I want you to understand that you know, if, if you if you are not willing to work with me and let me check it out right before you say it doesn't work or it's broken or whatever, then I've got to do it here. And then I don't want to do it and say it's fine. You say, oh, I rigged it or I wasn't being honest. So uh, I, this happens all the time. I mean, like I get people that just for whatever reason, I mean, you start when, when everybody's stuck in quarantine, people start coming out of the woodwork with some crazy ideas. The ones I'm really liking now are the ones where they bought something somewhere else and then they buy it for me. And then they try to tell me the one they bought for me is broken, but it's somebody else's part. And I Try to mark all mine if possible. So I promise you, I'm, I'm, I'm on it. I mean, they may be sealed, but at one point, I'm going to open them and put a little mark on them so that I know they're mine. I mean, this is how bad it's getting with people and their honesty right now. So, uh, and it's not everybody, right? I mean, it's just some people, but some people are just cons. That's the way it is. So I decided to start doing all RMAs video, I'm period. I'm going to open the boxes, open the shipments. They're going to be open and videoed from the beginning, and the videos are going to go online. All right, and, and this is how it's going to be. If they're honestly legitimately bad, then we're going to have a database of that so we can start seeing what products maybe we don't care anymore. And if they're not bad, then we're going to start finding out exactly what it is that's making, it's trying to show people what it is that they need to do extra in order to get the stuff to work, right? Either way, it's to help everyone, but it's to cover my ass more than anything else, okay? So um, I'm going to get started, and, and what I'm going to do is I'm not going to show you names of people because this isn't about shaming anybody. I think it's fair. I think people uh, make mistakes, and, and, and if they do, I don't want them to feel like I just totally turned on them. But at the same time, um, I, what I'm going to do is I've got my hand trying to cover the label on this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of turn it as you see here. Um, actually, I just put a label over this. Okay. So you cannot see this label. Uh, so you won't see who it's from, right? But here's the box. I'll make the picture bigger when I have opened the box. So I'm going to flip it over and open it from underneath. Okay. And there. So now let's do that and let's open this up. And then this way we'll see. I, I'm pretty sure I know what's in here, um, but I don't know all the Okay, so I've got a charger. All right, put that aside. I uh, don't know what this is. I'll put that aside. And uh, yeah, so I was right. Okay, so this is this this is the Free Sky Apis MQ60, right? And I remember this now. Let me swap. Let me make the screen bigger here. Uh, whoops. There we go. All right. So I do, I do know what this is in here for. And this came in as a it will not bind situation. Okay. And I remember I spoke to the customer. And said, Hey, look. Um, let me help you with this. And see if we can get it to go. And he says, no, I, I've tried. I just, you know, I'm, I'm done. I said, okay, well, I mean, I have to check it out. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to check it out. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to, now I do know um, I cannot turn this on while the video is running because it will interfere with our signal. So here's what I'm going to have to do first. First thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to try to get in here and unplug the VTX uh, without disturbing too much. Now, I think I can reach it from in here. So let me just, let me just see if I can. Well, you know what? I'll just unscrew it. Sorry. Uh, let me just go ahead and unscrew it, and we'll... Uh, and the reason I know that is I just did a live <laughs> how to bind yesterday. And um, and I was like, well, uh, I shut my video down. It, it, it totally interrupted and shut down my video. So let me go ahead and just... I'm just going to take out the, the camera, okay? Because I cannot... It will interfere with the Wi-Fi, which runs our cameras here, okay? So uh, so I have to disable the VTX or take it off. All right, now, that being said, here's the Apis right here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to plug it in, and I want to see if it even lights up, all right? So I'm going to light it up. Let's see. Uh, let me see. Let me turn that off. Okay, so I do have it lit up, and it's actually in binding mode right now. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to grab a radio to bind this. Uh, and I believe the customer had an X9 light, okay, which is what I have here. So I'm trying to duplicate exactly. Now, this is the new X9 light with access, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. Welcome to OpenTX. Okay, Switch now, um, I have three settings here, so I'm going to show you these real quickly, okay? The settings are as follows. Um, yeah, there we go. All right. So uh, on my menu page, you're going to see I have... Oh, I actually have it at uh, the MQ60 here, so I'm going to use this for somebody. And then I have something called Customer One. I, 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 this is a little different. So let me go ahead. I'm going to select. Morning. I'm going to select the M, the Apis M60. It should have said MQ60, but it says M60. And I'm going to go click, hit page, and I'm going to go look at my settings here. 
and I'm set for D16, 1 through 16, and I'm gonna say bind, okay? So if you look right here, you're gonna see, and I'll try to zoom in, but I don't wanna take the radio off the screen. Uh, there it is right there, right? So I'm gonna see now if I can get anything to blink. So I'm gonna to go to one and I'm gonna click bind, and I'm gonna tell it just telemetry off, doesn't matter, okay? And all of a sudden the red light's blinking, boom, right? So let me hit exit, end, and then I'm going to uh, unplug and connect. If that light turns green, I'm bound. It turned green, okay? Now, let's just see if this is right. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put my uh, laptop on the screen so we can get into beta flight. So give me a second here because I didn't have it even turned on uh, with the uh, sharing software. So let me go ahead and just reactivate this, make sure I'm on the internet. Yeah, I am. All right, there we go. So I'm gonna put that screen on and you should see it here. And then here is the uh, Apis here in the top. And let me do that. Okay, so I'm just gonna go to beta flight. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and connect this. This is a pretty, this cable, this USB cable is pretty stout. So it keeps twisting one way or the other. All right, now I have the audio off, so I didn't hear it connect, but I see it's connected. All right, so there we go. I'm gonna to try to lay something down. I'll put my phone down on here. See if we can just keep this from flipping over, okay? All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna connect. I'm gonna give it a second. I think I'm in the right port. Hold on. Let me remove the battery real quickly. And let me connect. Now let's connect real quick. Let's see if we get our response. There we go. Okay, all right. So I swear this USB, I gotta get something that's not so uh, tough, I guess. All right, so it wants to flip. Let's see if we can get it to stay this way. Thank you. all right. So either way, it doesn't really matter. I just wanna to go to receiver and I wanna look to see what I've got. Okay, so in my ports, uh, we know we're bound, right? So we know we're bound, we've got a green light. Uh, but now the question is, uh, are, is it set up? Has this thing been plugged in and changed? So first thing I want to do is I'm going to go and I mean right off the bat PPM is wrong. So we want to go serial based and then we're going to S bus and click save. And I'm going to connect. And look at that. And so now what we'll do is the functions of this are all whoppy jawed. So let me see, uh, let me see, let me see if it's on default, if that's what, and there you go. So it's fine. There's a connection, it binds. I told the customer that if he'll just let me get in there, uh, I could get it for him. And uh, the answer was no. So, uh, and now we're gonna set it up. So this thing has been changed uh, because it does come with default settings. So we're going to set this up here and I'm gonna go back and change this to auxiliary two, I guess. I think, that, yeah, auxiliary two, I'll put horizon here. Uh, I'll put angle in the center right there. Uh, and then uh, let's see what else do I wanna do. I will put air mode in the middle for auxiliary two, which means I'm acro without air. And so I'm acro air and angle when I'm in middle position, I'm horizon. Uh, without angle when I'm in last position and in first position, I'm just straight up acro with no air, no nothing. Okay, so that's that. Now I'm going to click save. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to plug in the battery. Make sure I got a good connection there. And I'm going to see, let me go to, oops, let me go to my motor tab. All right, get this ready. I mean, guys, it's ready to fly. I, 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 I really, so I'm going to disconnect, okay? And I'm going to put the battery in. And I mean, this is just another one of those things where a customer says it doesn't work, and it does. And so I can't, you know, you can't open the stuff and I'm going to see if I can get it. I'm going to see if I can get it. I don't know what's been set up on this thing. <laughs> So I've got to, I've got to look here. Um, let me see. It's got, 
Okay, so the configuration uh, is motors reverse. So let me go back now and make sure that that's how it's set. But I mean, it's arming. And, and the, the issue was it wouldn't arm. I mean, sorry, it wouldn't even bind. And obviously it is binding. Uh, let me see if I can get back in here. I'm just going to check. I'd like to put this through a quick little flight if, I, a flight if I can. I need to, sorry, I need to disconnect the battery when I do this. So one second. Okay, now let's get this back in. And again, guys, the only reason I had to open this, uh, the frame is because I've got to disconnect that VTX or it will interfere. <clears throat> I need this to just sit still. I cannot get this to stop flipping. Here, I'll just put it like that. Boom, there we go. All right, so let me see what we've got here. We've got on the configuration, um, see, motor, this, is, this has all been changed. This is not supposed to be this way. Uh, this did not come this way from, from FreeSky, I can tell you that. Um, let me see. Okay, that's fine. Uh, all right, let's do that. Click save. Sorry about the blinking light, guys. My phone's ringing and I, I wish it would stop, but I can't get it to stop right now. So let me connect back, see what we got. Okay, let's get this configured. There we go. And let's see what else do we have. Um, make sure our orientation hasn't been messed with. Let's go ahead and go to setup and tilt back, right, left. Okay, I'm gonna go to motors. I am gonna plug the battery back in now and make sure that the motors are spinning like they're supposed to. All right, so let's do that. And we're gonna do this and turn it on. So we're gonna go motor one. Motor one spinning right, motor two, spinning correct, motor three, spinning correct, and motor four, spinning correct. Okay, so let's see, and let me go to my receiver tab real quick, make sure all my stuff is set. Yeah, everything else looks pretty good. All right, so we're going to save all this and disconnect, okay, and hopefully I can get a good flight out of this now. So let me go ahead and plug this battery in. All right. I hope the battery is charged enough. All right. So not only does it bind, but it flies well. All right. So let me just go. Woo, let me stop it. Okay. So look. Um, Oh, I guess, you know what, I should have, maybe it would have been better to do it like that. I apologize here. So I, I don't know if that even made it on video. So I'll try it again real quickly. Uh, hopefully I got enough battery left in me for this. What am I stuck on? Oh, a magnet. Oops. I've kind of got limited space here, but I think you can see it's, it's humming along there. Okay. So, all right. Okay, so it is functioning, guys. And, and, and uh, it, look, the video, this video isn't about trying to be an ass to someone or trying to call anybody out. I'm not. So that's why I'm not saying any names. I think whoever owns this probably knows who they are. And, and it, fine, whatever. But the problem is this, is, you know, when uh, the, the email exchange, the message going back and forth is, hey, look, let me remote in. Let me see if I can help you with it. No, it doesn't work. I'm, I'm tired of trying to get it to work. Understood. But we have return policies that protect us from sending stuff out, having it open, having it used or whatever, or sending it back, and then we can't sell it as new and we take a loss. So there's restocking fees and other things, and people balk at it. Well, this is the whole purpose behind it is, you know, it's, the industry is, is, is tough. It's tough enough as it is, and with everything stay at home and, and money tight and jobs tight, it's hard to make things work. So when we're stuck in a position like this, we need to really work with the customer to try to make sure that everything's done on the up and up. So... In regards to this, everything else was sent back. I don't know why. I'm not even sure what's going on with that. But what I can tell you is the quad is fine. It does bind. We did this live, so that's not an issue at all. It flies. It does everything. My guess is, and for the gentleman that owned this, uh, that had this, look, I I'm going to tell you what I think it was, and this is what I was going to help you with. Um, 
My guess is that you have an X9 Lite, but did not do the updates to put this in D16. When the X9 Lite comes to you, it comes with you with only access and not the updated firmware so that you can run D16 and access or ACCST, D16 and access. Therefore, if you try to bind with access in this, it's not going to happen. I was going to walk you through how to do that and walk you through how to update your transmitter. Since you didn't give me the opportunity to, obviously, I said, fine, send it back. I'll check it out. If there was a defect, we'll deal with it. And there's not. So um, I will reach out to the customer who this belongs to and work something out to give a partial credit back. But um, for the rest of y'all, look, I appreciate the RMA, you know, appreciate it. And just as long as you're willing to work with me too, which means if you think there's something wrong, let me look at it, okay? It doesn't mean I'm covering something up and I'll do a video here so you can see it. But for everybody else, I get that it's frustrating. Just understand that it was, it was frustrating for me too. I paid my dues. I did my 50 hours to learn how to program a transfer because I didn't watch some know-it-all who thought he was so smart that I, I had to watch him or I couldn't figure I didn't do any of that. I did it on my own and broke enough stuff to know how to work it and know what not to do, right? And that's, I paid my dues. So when somebody says something doesn't work and they've given it five minutes and they're new in the industry, I feel your, I feel your pain, but I need the respect of at least giving me a chance to help you so that we can figure it out, okay? Uh, and that's it. All right, enough of the soapbox. I love all y'all. I appreciate y'all very much. And I hope nobody takes offense to this. It's not meant to be that way. It's just meant to show you that sometimes you just may not know as much as you think you do. And let me help you. And we might be able to fix this. Okay. And for this customer, look, no hard feelings, bro. I mean, you know, we'll hook you up with something else. I just, I just got to cover my butt now. Okay. All right, guys, if you have any questions, please. Oops, that's not it. Uh, no, that's not it. That's it. Yeah. Go to my website, cyclonefbb.com. Use the contact page and email me. Uh, please also follow us on Facebook and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And again, this is not shaming by any means. Everybody's allowed to their uh, stuff, but we have to accept facts when we can show them, right? That, that's all we can do. There's no, there's no uh, emotion here. Okay. All right, guys. God bless. Be safe. Spend time with your family. Don't know how much time you have left with them, so make the most of it. Fly later. Peace. <laughs>